Hello there and welcome to the Shuttle Bay 4 Star Trek quiz. This quiz consists of 50 questions with an extra bonus question at the end, which, although not strictly a Star Trek question, is still very much Star Trek related. Feel free to take this quiz very seriously if you like and sit there with a pen and paper making a note of your answers so you can see how well you did at the end. Or feel free to just watch the quiz and get a general idea of how much you know. So, let's start. The first round is called that's not Star Trek. So question number one, which of these ships is not from Star Trek? Is it A, B, C, or D? Question number two, which of these aliens is not from Star Trek? Is it A, Bolians, B, Denobulans, C, Tholians, or D, Corolians? Question three, which of these is not an episode title from Star Trek. Is it A. Space Seed B. The Return of Tuvix C. Little Green Men or D. One Small Step Question number four. Which of these is not an Orion from Star Trek? Is it A. B. C. or D. That's A, B, C or D. Which of these has McCoy not said? I'm a doctor, not a A. Psychic B. Mechanic C. Escalator or D. Coal Miner Question 6. Which of these didn't the EMH from Voyager say? I'm a doctor, not a A. Bartender B. Decorator C. Zookeeper or D. Martian The next round is called Aye Aye Captain can you identify the following Star Trek characters from their eyes alone? So, number seven, who is this? Or this? Or this? Question number ten, who's this? Do you know who this is? Or this? Do you recognize this stare? Here's another one, another one, another one. Do you know who these eyes belong to? Maybe this one's a bit easy. How about this one? Surely you know this one. Here's another pair of eyes, another pair, here's another. This one's fairly easy. This one's very easy. And do you recognize these softly focused eyes? Oh no! Shatner's wig wasn't glued on properly and blew off. In order to find it, we need to know what Kirk's hair looks like. So which is not James T. Kirk's hair? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Or is it D? A, B, C or D? The next question is a Facebook fan group tribute. Literally every three or four days, someone will post an image of the headstone from where no man has gone before and ask if anyone has ever noticed that Kirk's middle initial is wrong. So, which middle initial is attributed to James T. Kirk in the episode where no man has gone before? That was question 28. And question 29 is another Facebook fan group tribute. Oh my God! I've just watched Space Seed and realised that when Khan says, I never forget a face in Wrath of Khan, the character he says it to wasn't even in the series then, so it's wrong. So, about which character does Khan say, I never forget a face? Question 30. What is the name of the pregnant humpback whale in the film Star Trek IV, The One with the Whales, also known as The Voyage Home? Question 31. In Star Trek The Motion Picture, only one prop from the original TV series was used. But what was it? Was it A. A Hora's earpiece B. A medical tricorder C. William Shatner's toupee or D. Spock's pointy ears Question 32. Star Trek The Motion Picture wasn't just the first Star Trek film. It was also the first... A. Midnight Cinema Screening in Canada B. McDonald's Happy Meal Film Tie-In 
C, it was the first movie to be watched in space? Or was it D, the first film to make over a billion dollars? Question 33. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. When was this line first uttered? Was it A, in the first Star Trek TV pilot, The Cage? Was it B, during the Star Trek animated series? Was it C, in Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan? Or did it first appear not even in a Star Trek series? D, in an episode of Lost in Space. Question 34. In Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, what does Spock call marshmallows? Is it A, sugar phone, B, sweet cubes, C, marshmallows, or D, detestable earth confectionery? Question 35. In the Next Generation episode Best of Both Worlds Part 1, what is the final word spoken? Is it A. Doomed, B. Attack, C. Run, or D. Fire? Oh no! There's been a transporter accident and several Scotties have materialised with oddly smiling faces. But which one is an imposter? Which isn't Scotty? So question 36, which one is not Scotty? Is it A? Is it B? Is it C? Or is it D? A, B, C or D? Question 37, which character has appeared in more Star Trek episodes than any other? By the way, this one isn't multiple choice, just in case you're expecting an A, B, C or D option. A running joke in the Star Trek production team is the use of GNDN for important looking apparatus. So question number 38, which by the way is also not multiple choice, what does GNDN mean? The next round is called what happened next. So question number 39, Ensign Sonia Gomez is chatting with Geordie LaForge, but what happens next? Is it A, she spills hot chocolate over Captain Picard, B, she becomes possessed by a ghost called Ronin. C. She is transported away unexpectedly. D. She tells Geordie off for making creepy holodeck programs featuring her. Question 40. Q whispers in Data's ear, but what happens next? Is it A. Data finds himself wearing a sombrero. B. Q plays a guitar and sings to Picard. C. Data laughs uncontrollably, or D, Data sings a power ballad about his cat. Question 41. Attention, Captain on the bridge, Picard is getting an update, but what happens next? Is it A, he tells Wesley Crusher to shut up, B, he talks about when he first started to go bald, C, he cracks a joke and nobody finds it funny, or D, he accidentally calls Barclay Mr. Broccoli. Question 42. Benjamin Sisko is paying a visit to Garak, but what happens next? Is it A. They bond over their mutual love of spy fiction. B. They bond over their mutual love of fashion. C. They bond over their mutual love of Bashir. Or D. Sisko full-on punches Garak in the face. Question 43. Saru and Tilly are having a chat in the canteen, but what happens next? Is it A. Tilly spits out her mac and cheese. B. She finds her hair in her Vulcan Plomic soup. C. She laughs and spits bacon onto Saru. Or D. A tardigrade knocks her food onto the floor. Question 44. Which actor was the first to play three different characters in Star Trek. Was it A. Vaughn Armstrong, B. Diana Muldor, C. Mark Leonard, or D. Jeffrey Coombs? Speaking of actors, here are four images of actors not in a Star Trek role. So question number 45, which one hasn't played a Starfleet officer? Is it A. Kelsey Grammer, B. Ronnie Cox, C. Christian Slater, or D. Jerry Seinfeld, A, B, C, or D. 
We sold Ronnie Cox from Robocop in the last question. But which of the following fellow Robocop actors has not appeared in Star Trek? Is it A. Peter Weller, B. Nancy Allen, C. Kurtwood Smith, or D. Miguel Ferrer? A, B, C, or D? Question 47. In the TOS episode, The Way to Eden, Tricky Space Hippies chanted which insult? Was it A. Herbert, B. Percy, C. Quadrilateral, or D. Schlong? Oh no! Captain Picard has fallen through a Jeffreys tube. I can only see the top of his head. Which of these magnificent domes does not belong to Jean-Luc Picard? Is it A, B, C, or D? That's A, B, C, or D. And now the penultimate question. Question number 49. What was the name of Captain Archer's pet beagle? Was it A, Beagle 2, B, Zephram, C, Porthos, or D, Faith, as in Faith of the Heart? And now the final question. Question number 50. In the Star Trek universe, on which day is first contact celebrated? Is it A, the 5th of April, B, the 25th of August, C, the 12th of September, or D, the 11th of October? So those are the 50 questions, but here is a bonus question. Now, one of the members of Shuttle Bay 4 happens to be a big fan of the TV series Murder, She Wrote, and he's noticed that a lot of Star Trek actors seem to appear in episodes of Murder, She Wrote. In fact, Murder, She Wrote has 12 seasons, consisting of 264 episodes and four specials. That's 268 individual televised instances of Murder, She Wrote. So, our bonus question is... What percentage of Murder, She Wrote episodes, including specials, contain actors who appeared in Star Trek? Is it A. 1% to 25% B. 26% to 50% C. 51% to 75% Or D. A staggering 76 to 100% That concludes the questions, and now, the answers. Okay then, it's time to see how well you did. So the first round, that's not Star Trek, question number one. Which of these ships is not from Star Trek A, B, C or D? The answer was, of course, C. In fact, if you look really closely at that image, you can see the word Galactica on it. Question number two, or rather, answer number two. Which of these aliens is not from Star Trek A, Bolians, B, Denobulans, C, Tholians or D, Corolians? The answer was, of course, Corolians. Number three, which of these is not an episode title from Star Trek? A. Space Seed, B. The Return of Tuvix, C. Little Green Men, or D. One Small Step? The answer was, of course, B. The Return of Tuvix. He's dead. Get over it. Four, which of these is not an Orion from Star Trek? Is it A, B, C, or D? A, B, C, or D. The answer, of course, was D. So, question number five. Which of these has McCoy not said? I'm a doctor, not a psychic, mechanic, escalator, or coal miner. The answer was psychic. Number six. Which of these didn't the EMH from Voyager say? I'm a doctor, not a bartender, decorator, zookeeper, or Martian. The answer was D. Martian. Aye, aye, Captain. So, did you recognize these eyes? Number seven belong to Deanna Troy. Number eight, Hugh Culber. Number nine, Spock. Number ten, Jordi LaForge, obviously. Number eleven, belong to Joseph Mbenga. Number twelve, Quark. Number thirteen, Gowron. Fourteen, belong to Beckett Mariner. Fifteen, Tuvix, rest in peace. Number 16, Will Riker. 17 belong to Devada Tendi. 18, Martok. 19, Dr. Mbenga again makes an appearance. Number 20, they belong to Data. Number 21, 
They, of course, belong to Topol, number 22, belong to Catherine Janeway, number 23, belong to Odo. You may remember the episode where he lost a bet and ended up having to shapeshift into diarrhea. Number 24, these beautiful blue eyes, they belong to Leonard Bones McCoy. Number 25, these twinkly eyes don't belong to David Essex, they belong to the Gorn. Number 26, Edith Keeler, must die. So, question 27, which is not James T. Kirk's hair, A, B, C or D? Well, let's have a look. Was it A? No, that does belong to James T. Kirk. B? Also belongs to James T. Kirk. C? Yep, that's James T. Kirk, so it must be D. There you go. Belong to Reg Barclay. So 28, which middle initial is attributed to James T. Kirk in the episode where no man has gone before? The answer, of course, is... R. So, question 29. About which character does Khan say, I never forget a face? The answer, of course, is... Chekhov. Number 30. What is the name of the pregnant humpback whale in the film Star Trek IV, The One with the Whales, a.k.a. The Voyage Home? The answer, of course, was... Gracie. Question 31. In Star Trek The Motion Picture, only one prop from the original TV series was used. What was it? Was it A, a horror's earpiece, B, a medical tricorder, C, William Shatner's toupee, or D, Spock's pointy ears? The answer is A, a horror's earpiece. And here it is. And just in case you're not quite sure, that's it there. Question 32. Star Trek The Motion Picture wasn't just the first Star Trek film, it was also the first midnight cinema screening in Canada, McDonald's Happy Meal film tie-in, movie to be watched in space, or D, film to make over a billion dollars, it was B. It was the first ever McDonald's Happy Meal film tie-in. The McDonald's Happy Meal was introduced the same year as Star Trek The Motion Picture, and here is that very Happy Meal. I think I'd be very happy if I had that. So question number 33, the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. When was this first light uttered? Was it A, in the first Star Trek TV pilot The Cage, B, during the Star Trek animated TV series, C. In Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, or D. In an episode of Lost in Space? The answer is... The obvious one. C. In Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan. Answer number 34. In Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, what does Spock call marshmallows? A. Sugar foam. B. Sweet cubes. C. Marshmallows. Or D. Detestable earth confectionery. The answer is... Marshmallows. Number 35. In the TNG episode, The Best of Both Worlds Part 1, what is the final word spoken? I'm sure we all remember this cliffhanger. Was it A, doomed, B, attack, C, run, or D, fire? It was, of course, D, fire. Number 36. Which one is not Scotty? Is it A, B, C, or D? Well, let's reveal them one by one, shall we? A. Well, it's not that, because that is Scotty. That's Scotty as well. C. Actually, I think I might recognise that person in the background. Yet, yeah, the answer's C. C isn't Scotty, that's Miles O'Brien, which means that D must have been Scotty as well. 37. Which character has appeared in more Star Trek episodes than any other? The answer is... Worf. 38. What does GNDN mean? It means... Goes nowhere, does nothing. 39. Ensign Gomez is chatting with Jordi LaForge, but what happens next? Was it A, she spills hot chocolate over Captain Picard, B, she becomes possessed by a ghost called Ronin, C, she is transported away unexpectedly, or D, she tells Jordi off for making creepy holodeck programs featuring her? Well, the answer is, of course, A, she spills hot chocolate over Captain Picard. And just in case you can't remember that, that's what it looked like. 40. Hugh whispers in Data's ear, but what happens next? Was it A. Data finds himself wearing a sombrero. B. Hugh plays a guitar and sings to Picard. C. Data laughs uncontrollably. Or D. Data sings a power ballad about his cat. The answer is, of course, Data laughs uncontrollably. And here it is. Question 41. Attention, Captain on the bridge. Picard is getting an update, but what happens next? Was it A. He tells Wesley Crusher to shut up. B. He talks about when he first started to go bald. 
who's about seven, I think. Or C, he cracks a joke and nobody finds it funny. Or D, he accidentally calls Barkley Mr. Broccoli. Well, the answer, of course, is D. He accidentally calls Barkley Mr. Broccoli. Number 42. Benjamin Sisko is paying a visit to Garak, but what happens next? A. They bond over their mutual love of spy fiction. B. They bond over their mutual love of fashion. C. They bond over their mutual love of Bashir. Or D. Sisko full-on punches Garak in the face. The answer, of course, was D. That's it, Ben. Let it all out. 43. Saru and Tilly are having a chat in the canteen, but what happens next? Was it A. Tilly spits out her mac and cheese? B. She finds a hair in her Vulcan Plomeek soup? C. She laughs and spits bacon onto Saru? Or D. A tardigrade knocks her food onto the floor? The answer is... A. Tilly spits out her mac and cheese. And here's that very moment. Number 44. Which actor was the first to play three different characters in Star Trek? Was it A. Vaughn Armstrong, B. Diana Muldor, C. Mark Leonard, or D. Jeffrey Coombs? The answer is, of course, Mark Leonard. And here he is in one of those roles, probably his most famous. 45. Which one hasn't played a Starfleet officer? Is it A. Kelsey Grammer, B. Ronnie Cox, C. Christian Slater, or D. Jerry Seinfeld? And the answer is... D. Jerry Seinfeld. And here's what the other actors look like as Starfleet officers. There they are. Okay, so 46. Which of the following fellow Robocop actors has not appeared in Star Trek? Is it A. Peter Wella Wella Wella. B. Nancy Allen. C. Kurtwood Smith. Or D. Miguel Ferrer. The answer is... B. Nancy Allen. And here's all the others in Star Trek roles. Some of them have played more than one. Question 47. In the TOS episode The Way to Eden, Trippy Space Hippies chanted which insult? Was it A. Herbert, B. Percy, C. Quadrilateral, or D. Schlong? The answer was, of course, Herbert. A. So, 48. Which of these magnificent domes does not belong to Jean Luc Picard? Is it A, B, C, or D? The answer is, of course, A. And just in case that cranium does look a bit familiar, that's because it belongs to Walter Koenig. So question 49. What was the name of Captain Archer's pet beagle? Was it A, Beagle 2, B, Zephram, C, Porthos, or D, Faith? As in Faith of the Heart. The answer was, of course, Porthos. So now our last question, question number 50. In the Star Trek universe, on which day is First Contact celebrated? Is it A, the 5th of April, B, the 25th of August, C, the 12th of September, or D, the 11th of October? The answer is, of course, the 5th of April. But that's not all. Now we've got the answer to the bonus questions. What percentage of Murder, She Wrote episodes, including specials, contain actors who appeared in Star Trek? Was it A, up to 25%, B, 26% to 50%, C, 51% to 75%, or D, 76 to 100%? The answer is, quite shockingly to be honest, 98.88%. Now, there are actually two answers to this, because one particular actor only provided voice work in Star Trek. However, given how many different appearances his voice has made, including one of the original voices of the Borg, I decided to include him. If we exclude him, the answer is still 98.5%. So either way, D is the correct answer. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Shuttle Bay 4 quiz. We actually did this quiz as part of a Christmas meetup. That's us there in our Christmas jumpers. Apart from Brush, because he doesn't believe in Christmas jumpers. Special thanks to Adam Clements for collating the Murder, She Wrote Star Trek spreadsheet and sharing that with us. If you liked this, and you think we look like a friendly, intelligent and trektastic bunch, please consider subscribing or checking out our other videos. Goodbye. I'm a doctor, not a mechanic. I'm a doctor, not a coal miner. I'm a doctor, not an escalator.